Good morning, students. Myself, Gitika Shrivastav, science teacher from Madhya Sindhya Public School. Now, today I will be giving second lecture for class ninth, which is including first chapter, improvement in food resources. In the previous lecture, I had told you about the introduction for the chapter, and I told you. about improvement in crop yields how you can improve the crop yields to provide the food for the increasing population now today we'll be discussing about two main topics that is crop variety improvement and the factors for variety improvement coming on to the first point that is crop variety improvement that is the best selected crops they are following the process hybridization the first process is hybridization that is crossing between genetically dissimilar plants it can be intervarietal that is between the different varieties it can be interspecific that is between different species of the same genus or it can be intergeneric that is between different genera best selected crops are hybridized so that we are getting the best crops after hybridization Gen after this comes genetically modified crops that is we have to first of all select the best gene the most favorable kind of gene and then we have to introduce that gene in the crop so that it can provide the desired characteristics then children main thing we have to select the best quality seeds of the same variety so that they can germinate under the same condition they can be grown in diverse climatic condition they should be tolerant to high soil salinity and the best quality uh, seeds are selected for high yields they should be resistant to the diseases also and they can be uh, they can be grown in the drought conditions also so we have to select the best quality seeds of the same variety after this we are here we are having factors for variety improvement what are the main factors which we which we have to see for variety improvement first of all it should be high yielding higher yield the crop should be of higher yield that is production per a per unit area should be more then improved quality this improved quality is different for different kind of crops for example for wheat baking quality is desirable for pulses protein content is desirable for oil seeds oil content is desirable and for fruits and vegetables it should be having good preserving quality then comes the third factor which is biotic and abiotic resistance a biotic resistance means the crop should be tolerant towards the disease insects and nematodes it should be resistant to abiotic stresses also that is drought salinity water logging heat cold frost frost etc then comes the uh, fourth factor which is change in maturity duration that means maturity du duration should be short that is from the sowing to harvesting time it should be small so that we can get multiple rounds of crop throughout the year then it should be having wider adaptability that is it should adjust in different climatic conditions then children uh, so that they can grow in different environmental condition then comes the last point which is desirable agronomic traits that is again different for different kind of crops tallness and profuse branching is required in fodder crops for the crops are those which are given to the cattle to eat so it should be tall enough and it should be having profuse branching and in case of cereals dwarfness is required because 
cereals they take lot of nutrients if they are dwarf if they are short in size they will be requiring less nutrients thank you children this all i have to discuss today in my next lecture we'll be discussing about crop production management how we have to manage for the crop production that is how we have to give it nutrients and irrigation thank you children